Hey everybody, it's Q Storm. I'm here with another Geek Shop product review. Just as a quick backstory, uh, just recently, as of this year, beginning of this year, I got into handgun shooting, and um, I found that I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I previously wasn't a big fan of guns, but um, I took it up, went to the range a couple of times, and I really find myself enjoying it. Now, the one thing I don't enjoy is the fact that it is a rather expensive hobby. The ammunition alone um, can set you back quite a bit because I can, even at my limited experience, I've had some training, but my limited experience, I find myself going through uh, 100, 200 rounds easily um, at the range in, within just an hour. So that brings me to the product I'm going to talk about today. I found this on the web. I can't remember who who guided me to this or who showed me this product for the first time, but it's called iTarget, and I can't tell you how much I enjoy this product. Um, basically, it's a, it's a system that allows you to train on accuracy, on speed uh, in your home. So you avoid range fees, you avoid uh, ammunition, paying for ammunition. Um, now. No, nothing is going to perfectly simulate being on the range, whether indoor or outdoor, because, you know, you're not going to get the recoil. You're not going to get the same somewhat stress levels uh, when you're at home with this product. But I swear by this. Uh, I got it just a couple of weeks ago, and I've been uh, on it every day since I got it. So I'm going to minimize the talking. I know I hate it with product videos where people just talk and yap, so we're going to get right to it. So upon opening the box, you get, uh, you see out of the back, you get your instructions. Of course, we're just going to toss those aside. And let me just say, um, this is not a very difficult product to set up. I, I, I had it up and running. I'm not the brightest guy in the bunch, but I had it up and running under 10 minutes, I want to say. So we're going to put the instructions to the side. And you get your target. There you go. Put that over here for now. And the sled. All right. So basically, this system uses your smartphone as kind of a sensor, if you will. So when this first comes, I think it came with this separated. So the first step is just putting this together. All you do is slide this in. And it's adjustable. And then you take your target. And if you can see here, there are there's a, a slot here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. There's a slot here. And on the target board itself, it's got a groove to it. And that just slides right into here. Okay, so that's pretty much all set up there. Now there are a little, bit, there's some tweaks we have to do, but I also want to point out that this little sled here, this is where your phone will go, your smartphone, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. I prefer the iPhone, but as you can see, this is expandable, so your phone just slips right in there. So once we have this all set up, uh, and I apologize if this is probably looks overexposed, but I had to expose for my skin tone, and this is very bright. It's called contrast, but there is a target on this screen. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but once we get that all set up, next thing we have to do is download the iTarget Pro app. You can download the app from iTunes if you're on an iPhone. If you have an Android device, uh, wherever you download your apps from, I know it's available for Android, so you can download uh, for that device as well. And as you can see, I've downloaded it here. So I'm going to tap on that. And it opens up, and we have some options to purchase different modes. Uh, I use the bullseye for now. Uh, there's quick draw, which I don't know if you can see that. And there's also coming soon, high score. I think, well, the bullseye one comes with the, with the app. But uh, you can purchase, I think it's like $4.99 quick draw for $4.99. 
and then I'll probably get the high score when it comes out, when it's, when it's available. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the bullseye mode. So by tapping on that, we get the warning that says, do not proceed until you have completed these steps. And it basically, basically goes through some pretty obvious and common sense uh, uh, warnings. Uh, remove the magazine and all ammunition from your firearm. Check the chamber of your firearm to confirm it's empty. Remove all ammunition from the practice area and place it in a secured area. And remove any other firearms that you're not using for this. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to be using my FNX 45. I just got the tactical um, laser and flashlight on it. I just think it looks really badass. This is one of the guns I use for home defense. Um, so I, I really, I love it, it's easy to shoot. Um, and I'm not that great a shooter just yet, but um, I highly recommend the weapon. Um, so yeah, just to show you that it is clear. No magazine, magazine is empty. Matter of fact, we won't even need the magazine, so I'm gonna put that to the side. But there you go, nothing in it. So we're safe. So, going back to the app, I'm gonna tap continue. And I haven't really worked this out yet, but you see here it says enter distance. So you tap that and you can enter, you know, whatever, however far away you're gonna be from the target. Uh, I am now up to, let's say 10 to 15 yards. So I believe that's like 30 feet. I'm not really sure. But, but suffice it to say, you can, uh, it's all in feet, not yards. So you can, you can select, once you do the math, uh, you can select the, the distance. And you have to, I guess you have to just measure it out on your own, um, your distance. I, I just walk using my feet as a, as a measure of how far I am from the target. So if I go 30 feet, I just count 30 steps, and I assume I'm 30 feet away. So now... We're going to place the phone into the, into the sled, and we do that simply. As I said, this slides out, so we place it in, and there you have it. The next step uh, is, and I found this a little tricky, but you want to make sure that the screen here, the target, is aligned on the, to the screen of the phone. So what you have to do is just kind of play with it. Adjust the phone. You can use the zoom feature because it's basically using your camera at this point. The camera, uh, the rear camera is shooting the target. It's, the photo, it's getting an image of the target. So you can use your zoom. You can zoom uh, to adjust it, but you want it so that the target fills the frame they were kind of close there. So now I'm a little, I need to slide my phone up a bit, tilt it forward. This is probably the most difficult part I found. Now, it's a little bit off on the edge there. I've got a little bit of that. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but rather than mess with the phone, cause this does not move left or right. So I need to slide this to the left. But since this doesn't move, this does move, so I'll slide that that way. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay, I don't think it needs to be perfect. You just don't want the target to overshoot the phone, the camera. <clears throat> but I think that's okay. All right, next thing we do is we use the pinch feature of the phone. Tap it. And you get a red circle. Actually, use two fingers to tap. And you want to position that circle, which is your target area, and you want the, the red circle to, to basically fill the, the target area on the image. So, hopefully you saw that. I'll do it one more time. As you pinch, you can pinch, expand or decrease like you normally would any image on an iPhone. 
and as you can see the red circle gets larger or smaller and then position it so that as best you can so that the circle matches the size of the target okay i think that's probably close enough okay so now we've set our target area on the iphone or your android device uh, some other little tidbits here we have the screwdriver uh, icon tap on that it's like settings real quick this will help with the lighting environment that you're shooting in because obviously there's going to be a laser hitting this target and you might have to adjust for for the lighting situation in case it's dark or too light if it's too light you might get some misfires on the target because um, it's, it's light sensitive so you can you have automatic which i've never had a problem with i'm just keeping an automatic indoors or low light again i've never had to use it and also you have this sensitivity down here um let's see if we can play with that again i've never had a problem so i've never had to do it but some uh you want to see a completely black screen if you're seeing um i'm trying to increase the sensitivity i don't know if you can see but there's some little spectral ghost-like images which means that there's which means that there's too much light hitting the target that it'll miss it'll miss Q. But um, I had the sensitivity turned all the way up. So I'm gonna bring that back down to we see nothing but black. And in the instructions it says if you have a problem with this, what you want to do is point your laser, which I'm gonna get into in the next in the next piece, but you wanna point the laser at the target and you wanna adjust this until all you see is the red dot of the laser. But again, I've never had a problem with it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully, we won't have a problem this time. Uh, score display. You can turn to activate that here. So right now, it's turned off. I turned it back on. And that allows you to see uh, your score based on where you've hit the target. So the outermost circle is 4. Again, I apologize if you can't see. Let me actually, let me reduce the exposure so you can see. Just yeah, There you go. So the outer portion of the target is four, and it goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the center is 10. So that, so that you can keep score of where you've hit. So, we've, so now we've got the phone set up. It's now uh, shooting a target area. So now I'm gonna hit the return arrow. We're back into uh, bullseye mode and for, and let's just say uh, if I wanted to get out of this mode uh, and select one of the other modes that we talked about earlier, I can hit home. And then, you know, if I had quick draw, I could select that. Once high score comes and I buy that, I can select that. But again, we're just shooting, we're just shooting bullseye, just working on accuracy. And, and every time you go back home, you're going to get this warning screen. And of course, as I've learned in the short, months that I've been shooting, you can never be warned or alerted too many times. So we hit continue. We're back in bullseye mode. The phone, the phone is focused up. It maintains our settings and now we're ready to shoot. With the iTarget, you can purchase it uh, with, with a, a, a laser bullet. Basically, this is just a bullet that once you hit the firing pin, once you pull the trigger and hit the firing pin, it hits this uh, portion of the of the bullet right here, and that it causes it to to emit a laser. So now you can. I think I purchased this um, the the sled for it was under a hundred bucks, but you can get the sled and you can get a targeting bullet, and they come in different calibers. This is a forty-five. I purchased uh, a nine millimeter, and I have a three eighty because I have those. Um, those those weapons as well um, and I think the package it was a reasonable price it was not too expensive it was it was less than some other devices that I have where, that I practice with uh, but fortunately this is a laser light bullet this is not an eye target product eye target sells its own laser bullets but since I had bought another device and I purchased this targeting bullet, this laser bullet it's called laser light uh, it works with the eye target device so if you have a laser light bullet or a, another laser bullet um, you do not need to purchase uh, the eye target bullet which they're probably going to hate me for saying that but hey 
this is an, like I said, it's an expensive hobby, so I want to save you some money where, where I can. So this bullet will work fine with the eye target. So now what we want to do is just insert the laser bullet. I don't know if that's the right term for it. Like I said, I'm new to all this, so I might be using the wrong terminology, but just go with me. You want to insert the bullet into the pistol. Again, gun has been cleared. Nothing, I don't know if you can see, it's really dark in there, but no magazine, nothing in there. You want to insert the bullet into the weapon. Then you want to rack the slide. And there you go. Okay. Now the one thing is um, I also have a um, I have an LCP Ruger LCP that has a laser light on it, but it's it's built into the into the handle, the grip, so that once you grab the grip, this is not obviously this is not an LCP, but just just try to picture the button of the laser light of the laser is right here. So it's kind of hard not to uh, trigger that laser. And every time I trigger the laser that comes from the from the um, mounted laser on that gun, it always triggers a, a, a hit on the target. So if you have a laser on your gun, you want to not uh, activate it while you are using this product because it will register as a hit. You only want the laser coming from the laser bullet to hit the target. So now that we've got everything set up here, now it's time for us to start shooting. And I just want to say that I've got the target a little lower than you would normally have it for, for shooting because I just don't feel like I'm too lazy to reset everything. So I just want to demonstrate how it works. So that's my excuse if my shots really suck. I'm just going to shoot five five rounds. We're not actually shooting live rounds, of course. We're using the bullet that's the laser bullet that's in the target, but I'm going to take five shots just to demonstrate how it works. Now, the one thing you want to do, and sometimes I forget this and I'm shooting, I'm like, why isn't it registering? You have to hit the green arrow, or well, there's an arrow with a green circle on it. You have to hit that, tap that, and that tells the device that you are ready to start. So we're going to hit that. Now we have a thumbs up in green. We have a thumbs down in red. We have a score, which is highlighted, and we have shots. So it's going to keep track of a score, and it's going to keep track of the number of shots that we take. We're just going to do five. Let's see how we do. Okay, so listen, please do not look at that and think that I am an excellent shooter. I was standing maybe, I don't know, 10 feet away uh, and with a 45 caliber weapon and, and the FNX is so heavy that it's really, it really can lull you into a false sense of accuracy because it's such a heavy gun that it's easy to keep steady. It, just for the hell of it, I'm going to take five more shots. I'm going to try to step a little further away and see how we do. Okay, I'm going to say I'm now roughly about, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away. Let's see what we got. Okay, I noticed that there was one misfire. I'm not sure why that happened. It's the first time it's happened. Uh, I guess nothing's perfect, but um, so yeah, I mean, I, I did pretty good, but again, I was cheating a bit. Uh, typically, I tend to stand seven yards to 10 yards away, and I do okay. Not perfect, but okay. So let's say I want to lie to my friends and say, man, I was standing 20 yards away. Look how good I did. I want to save that image. What I would do is save it as a photo, so I would hit the thumbs up, and then it has two arrows, uh, a download arrow in green and a return arrow in red. I will hit the download arrow. It says, iTarget would like to access your photos. Okay. 
and it says screenshot was saved to photos okay If I didn't want to save that, if I just wanted to erase that, uh, that session, I would have hit the red circle that had the thumbs down in it, and it would have just set me up back into this mode where I'm ready to shoot again. Another thing that's really cool about this is that if you're using your iPhone, maybe you can do this on an Android with other third-party items, I'm not sure. But with iPhone, if you have Apple TV connected to you know, a larger monitor that you use for everyday viewing, you can airplay the image on the smartphone, on the iPhone, to that monitor. So in this case, I have it connected to my small, I don't know, it's a 21-inch screen down in the basement. Sometimes I take this upstairs to the 46-inch um, flat screen that we have upstairs, and it'll display a larger image. Uh, you can look right up at your screen. It's easier to see than trying to watch it on the phone itself. And it also transfers the sound, so you can turn that baby up and makes you feel like you really got the range. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to set this thing up and start practicing on the target. Uh, it took us virtually no time to get that up and running. Uh, and like I said, when I set it up, I didn't even really look at the instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I can't tell you how much I love this product. It's fun. It helps you with accuracy. It saves you money. Now, again, there's nothing like going to the range and feeling that recoil in your hands and, and trying to reset your on, on the sights on your weapon. Uh, you're not going to get that. As a matter of fact, when I shoot, I kind of mim mimic. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I mimic that, re that bounce, that recoil. So I'm, I know I'm not fooling myself, but it is a great alternative to if you don't have time after work or whatever to get to the range like you would like to set this up for and for under a hundred bucks I'll, I'll put down on I'll put on the screen how much it costs in total but for very little money uh, and there are more expensive items out there I've purchased some of them but this one for what you pay it's easily the best value out there the eye target uh, and I'll put on the screen the uh, website where you can find this. Uh, and they shipped it immediately. I got it within, I don't know, under three days. So thumbs up. I highly recommend this product.